Um, they say that Marjorie Harvey and Chris Jenner is real cool. Do you know that to be true? Okay. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I, I wouldn't even feel like that's true. Okay. I believe that Stephen, Stephen, Chris may have been cool, but I don't think Margie. Margie don't really care either way because she just worried about the money. I thought it was her and Steve that was cool with each other, and they kicked it together. Let me tell you something that Mary told me. Mary said <laughs> that Margie won't be caught. Let's go back, pull the paperwork. Go back and pull up pictures on Margie and tell me how many A-list celebrities that you don't seen her around. You know why they're not going to be around Margie? Because they scared that Margie going to sleep with their husband, so they don't want him around. Mary used to be kind of cool with Denzel Washington, Samuel L., um, Arnold Schwarzenegger wife. None of them didn't want to be around Margie because they thought that she would sleep with their man. I'm just saying what Mary said. Yeah, I mean, how many how many high profile celebrities y'all have seen her with? I'll wait. Go get them. Go get me the pictures of A-list celebrities that you don't see Margie Harvey with, with the wife and the husband. They're not going to do it because they know Margie will sleep with cousins. And if you sleep with cousins, you'll sleep with their man. Damn. Call me Margie. Not them saying she a no good hussy. I mean, if the shoe fits, wear it. You know, I, I don't know what you call someone who sleeps with two cousins. In my day, in the country, a they cousin sleep, fucker or or horse. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you're one, Margie. You know what I'm saying? You just might have liked the wood dinglings. I don't really know because they hey. were both cousins. You may have liked it like that, but you know that you are a cheater, and we know that you are a liar, and we know that you will cover up things because. When I saw that abuse and I saw that and knew Steve was with her, I knew she would cover up anything else that he would do. Anything. Dang. And you're not going to tell me that you had, and I called that computer room where I said Mary found the computer with the naked men in Steve's room. I called that the ding dungeon because there was no coochies in that computer. It was all ding So to me, that was the ding dungeon. And what were the six thousand dollars or ones about? And when you seen the men, were you dipping your hands in that Vaseline and doing? I'm just asking. She said it was a big jar of Vaseline. I said, how big, Mary? She said one of the big tubs. Well, damn, nigga, you could just go get a little bottle. You had to go get a big tub of Vaseline. Well, where do you get the big tubs of Vaseline from, Steve? That's what I need to know. And it'll fit in the drawer. And by the way, she said the grease was nasty. The jaw was nasty on the outside. So you dig it in the grease and rubbing on it, and you didn't even wash your hands and get some fresh Vaseline, whatever you. Oh. Just saying. Child. Wait a minute. Wait he was a minute. Sleep in the family ways no more. I'm just saying. Wait a minute. She said the Vaseline was dirty. Yeah, she said the jar, the whole jar was dirty. She said, because you know, she said it was a dirty desk in there and it had a, a, a computer on top of it. But she said when she opened the drawer, it was a big old jar of Vaseline sitting down in the desk drawer. And she I said, Well, how big? She said it was like a tub of it. I said, Where the hell he get a tub from? She said, I don't know. She said, but it was dirty. The outside, inside was dirty. Like somebody, I guess, was playing with it, and then just you just dip your nasty hands in there with your little dirt on it. And, oh, you ain't see all that dirty grease on there. Mm -hmm. Why was the why was the jar dirty? Matter of fact, why was the Vaseline even in there within the Dingaling dungeon? Well, here, well, here. Oh my God, I don't want to yeah, get too. I know graphic. So this guy's real messy. Then it just got messy so fast. I don't. I just. I don't want to. I don't want to get too graphic. But I'm like, I'm thinking like, if that Vaseline was dirty like that. He I touched the gas, he put his jar hand in it, then he did his thing, whatever he was doing with the Vaseline. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he was doing, he was doing with the Vaseline. And then what? You did you even wipe your hands off or did you get good and then you just touched the more dirty and went back in there? But to know the whole jar was dirty, go get Mary, go get her son, and go get her niece. Her niece validated it. I'm now I'm wondering if he was playing in his own butt. That's what I'm wondering. He probably was. He was playing with something. But then he might not be doing that because he could have playing with his weenie. But not only that, who else was you playing with? Because she said he had $6,000 worth of ones, not 20s, $6,000. I said, how do you know it was that many ones? She said she sat and counted it. And oh, they put everything no. back. And he didn't even know they had been in that room that day. And after that, she said she started watching him. And then after that, he did that with Mary's son, trying to molest Mary's son. Next thing he knows, she started trying to move away. Because, listen, Steve never tried to divorce. Mary divorced Steve. 
That's why. Y'all better ask some questions. Mary divorced Steve. So now you know why. You try to come at a son. You got a dingling dungeon. You got bras that you, so you will spend your weenie all across the universe from transgenders to dinglings and to men. Or you just like to watch men do it with each other. You just play with yourself in a dingling dungeon. I mean, we can ask you, Steve, but I'm sure you ain't going to tell us. But, and see, it'd be different if Mary said it, the son said it, and the niece said it. So come on, let's go do this. We're going to call all of us lies. Then I'm going to ask the judge to tell your ass to take a lie detector test because I'll pass mine, will you? Mm. <laughs> the serious is getting hot in here. I'm going to take our clothes off. That's what he was doing in that dungeon. I'm going to take my clothes off. Mm -hmm. Then wash yep. your hands. Always got a dungeon boy, and just the well, just the fact that he had that digital lock on it lets you know it was it, it was some nefarious things going on. And you know, I forgot what Mary said the code was on it, but it was some shit that she would if they kept playing and they find a guy. I don't know if it was Winter's birthday or it was somebody's birthday or something, and they figured the damn code out. But he had it backwards instead of frontwards. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show. Storm show.